sense the press coming? I mean, film has done it every game. I watch film. I, mean, I don't know what our guys do when we watch film with them, but I actually do try to pay attention. <laughs> That's a nice story, by the way. I had one of those in like 1976, I think it was. <laughs> I think you gave it. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. But, you know, here's the honest to God's truth. When you have a good team, well, you're supposed to have a good team. I'm not sure we do, but you're supposed to have a good team. You know you're going to get pressed because if you're a good team, you're going to be up and people are going to have to press to get back in the game. So we've worked on press breaker every day. I don't think there's been a day go by we haven't worked on press breaker. Doing a hell of a job teaching it, too, aren't I? <laughs> I was going to say, Bob, what didn't work with it today? Did you want the guys to throw over the top more, come back to the ball? What was that? We keep throwing the ball backwards. You can't throw backwards. And, and, you know, we've just been, we've been just gone off on transition. I mean, we had opportunities. We had opportunities. We're two on one how many times and don't score. We just, uh, and we work on that every day, too. Even the, even the last play against the press was hardly a thing of beauty until... I drew it up. I drew, I drew that up. I drew up. Yeah. yeah. I knew. I knew if Truck would fumbled around about three times, almost step out of bounds, they probably would think they had him. You know. And uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know how many times you're supposed to say get the ball off the sideline. I don't know how many times you're supposed to say catch the ball, turn face the other basket. I don't know how many times you're supposed to say run through the ball. I don't know how many drills you're supposed to do. You know. So. We needed this. We needed this, you know. It's uh, hopefully, hopefully, it's an eye opener that we we start to understand. You know, we went from being one of the hardest playing teams in the country to coming in here, and they just dominated us with their with how hard they played. I mean, they were they played really hard. This was your first true road game. How much did that play? You've been on a couple of you know what, um, we start, the five that we start have all been, they, they competed a year ago in the best team in the his, best conference in the history of college basketball. Played in some really hard, hard places to play. Played in the Big East tournament. Played in the NCAA tournament. It's not like, it's not like they haven't been there. It's not like they, they don't know what's coming. And you know, we lost one guy. I granted he was a guy who uh, gave us another guy who could pass, but. Do you think it's as simple as just getting people back, getting people healthy, getting people to practice? I mean, all these things you've been dealing with with Mitchell and the guys. Well, it's kind of like I told them, I'm tired of dealing with it. They're going to start dealing with me. I'm not going to deal with them. What's the saw him walk off the floor. I, I, I asked Doc. Doc said he was done. He couldn't go the second half. So doesn't look good. What did you see in, in this Gary Waters team? You certainly have some, some familiarity with the way he coaches with what he does. Was this indicative? Was it a little different? What you expected not? Gary's a good coach. Good coaches do what, you know, they, they, they play to the strength of their teams. And that's what he did. You know, he's... When we got when we got mismatched with with Poe, he threw it inside. Otherwise, they played off the bounce. That's the strength of their team. The strength of their team is, is is Cole playing off the bounce. You know, ball screening for him. Montgomery coming in and being kind of instant offense for him. Good coaches, good coaches. You know, they they change and adapt to their personnel. And, and Gary certainly done that. With, um, with some of those things you guys are going through with injuries and just getting guys together, is there one area in particular to defend that to make it, you know, is it is it hard to practice? Is it getting guys used to playing with each other? Anything, anything stand out? Well, I mean, honestly, it's a, it, we came off a hard week. You know, when you got guys coming early and they're coming late and leaving early uh, because of finals, and uh, it, it's, you know, they're, 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 really their attention is elsewhere as it should be. But um, I don't know. I've coached teams that had finals before. I mean, this isn't the first. And, you 
and, and they seem to have responded a lot better than what, what these guys responded. We just think things are easy, man, and that, that's, that's, I think that's, that's the bottom line. We don't have, we can't get five guys playing hard at once. I bet you there's not ten minutes all year where all five guys are on the same page. Somebody, somebody's always, you know, not where they're supposed to be. Somebody's always trotting. Somebody's always standing, you know, not really in them. Is that because people are in and out, all and off the roster? I mean, for whatever reason? I'm, I'm going to try to say this as, as, as uh, tactfully as I possibly can. I've never had a team give up that many layups in 28 years of coaching. I've never had a team give up that many layups. I have never coached a team that has that poor help. And, and we are awful, just god-awful. We're giving up 45% for the year. We gave up 39% a year ago in the best conference in the history of college basketball. We gave up 39%. Same guys now are giving up 45 Same guys aren't where they're supposed to be. Is that something that you can't put your finger on as to why it's happening? Oh, I know why it's happening. I know why it's happening. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. It's just it's what I told them in there. I can fix a couple guys. I can't fix seven, eight, nine. You know, I got to get some guys, you know, get back on board. They get back on board. I can fix the rest of them. The rest of them will be standing there shaking hands, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I was a jerk. Uh, good luck. I uh, wish I was going with you. Coach, was there anything actually you had to say that you came during that previous day that was looking for the win and they weren't content with uh, holding you close and, and trying to put in the overtime? Who the hell plays to stay close? That'll fire that coach. Whoever it is. That'll fire those players. Nobody plays to stay close, man. You know, they came in here, they they, they came in to win. I mean, they're, they're – uh, they're struggling a little bit, and then they got us, and I think they got two more ranked teams. They don't, and I know, I know, I've known Gary for a long, long time, man. And he's he's not playing anything to stay close. That's not. If you find a coach that does that, you gotta just write this big article about how that'll fire his ass if he's not trying to win. What what can you say about Gary and what he's done at Cleveland State so far? He's done a great job. I mean, it, it's. Uh, but he's done it everywhere. I mean, it's, it, it shouldn't be a surprise. No, good coaches win. You know, there's coaches that maybe can win if they have in, in, a, in a certain place. Gary's won everywhere. You know, Gary went to Kent, and, and, and Gary's the guy responsible really for getting that thing going. You know, Jim McDonald had it going for a while, but Gary went in there and really got it going. And uh, we played him in the second round of the NCAA tournament in, uh, in whatever year it was. And then he went to Rutgers, did a heck of a job at Rutgers. I mean, they haven't been in postseason play since he left. And he's done the same thing here. I mean, if you know, if there's a history, guys went everywhere they are, they probably can coach. Probably got to keep those guys around, give them a pay raise, you know. It's some guys that just play to keep it close, fire their ass. <laughs> what were your impressions of Norris Cole? He was really good today. He was really good today. Else. Do you normally have uh, Ebanks guarding you and guarding him early? Do you normally have a guard to keep the best for a uh, We have all of them there. Yeah.